Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is third video of our NLP for beginners playlist. In the first video, we saw how can you build your first, you know, NLP or natural language processing model. And we primarily looked at two technique which allows us to extract the text feature from our data. So our data was a text which was some comments and we wanted to identify whether those comments are toxic or not. So we look at two techniques. The first one was the bag of words technique, which is the count vectorizer. The second technique was the TF-IDF technique. And in the second video, we look at the third technique called a word to wake, which is nothing but the vector representation of words. So we use pre-trained word to wake model from the Google and we find out the vector representation for our each word and then eventually converted that vector representation of each word into the whole sentence or a text representation. And this is how we got a vector representation for our text that we can feed to machine learning model and we train our text classification model. So in the third video, what we're going to do, we're going to use another technique, that technique called is embedding. So we're going to use a sentence transformer to convert our text into the embedding, which is nothing but the vector representation of our text. And there is a library called Sentence Transformer, which is built on top of Transformer or Hugging Face Transformer. And I have already made one video on the Sentence Transformer. So if you haven't watched that video, uh, it will be a good idea to watch that video first so that you get the overall idea what Sentence Transformers can do for you. So if you go to my playlist, uh, there is one playlist I created on a fire, you know, transformers playlist, which actually have the advanced topic. So before I start beginner NLP, I have already covered the advanced topic. So in the advanced topic, if you go, there is a one dedicated video for the sentence transformers. They have shown, you know, how do we calculate the sentence embeddings? How do we use those embedding for the sentence similarities, semantic search and the clustering with all code and hands on thing. So, I would suggest go watch that video and for today's video we will focus on you know getting that embedding and actually using that embedding to build a text classification model right so the primarily we're going to use that embedding is nothing but the feature for our model for basic if you think of you know you can install the sentence transformer using pip install and what it does it simply you you know declare which model you want to use a transformer model that you want to use to you know, uh, convert your text into the numerical or vector representation, we call it as an embedding. So you can have simply a list of sentences or a text and this model, sentence transformer model has a method called encode, which will simply take your sentence and convert into the a numerical representation. Uh, we will see that thing. that is pretty simple, just two lines of code. And if you wanted to know what are different models uh, it use, so you can go here and there is this is like pre-trained models you can go to this section and it will tell you all the models available there and you know they they are saying that this is the best model they have and this is the fastest model they have so you can choose as per your use case or even you can try multiple models and see you know uh, which one works for you so this is what we're going to use uh, today so let's do one thing first first of all let's install that sentence transformer and I will also, you know, import pandas and numpy and I will set some seed because I want to have a reproducible results. The next thing, I'm going to import the sentence transformer class from this particular library and then sentence transformer class take the name of the model that you want to use. So I'm going to use this particular model uh, from that list. You can have your, you know, uh, you can decide which one do you want. and it also supports, you know, the model hostel on Hugging Face uh, model hub. So if you go to the model hub, there are a lot of different models that you can find, right? From the, 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 there are 124 models available, right? So you can see which one suits for your need and you can use that particular model. But the model we are going to use, I think that is the default model they have. This one, which is the default model, that's what we're going to use. The other thing, let's uh, load our data set. Okay, and let me also 
show you what do we have because it is the same data set that I have been using for a long time, which I took from the Kaggle. Yes, yeah, so you could see our data contain a simple thing. We have a text which is actually some comment and we say whether that comment is a toxic or not. So, right. So that is uh, something. So if there are something hateful or abusing words, then we will call it as a toxic. So that is the data set what we have. Next thing, what we will do, this is again the same thing that we have been doing from the last couple of videos. I'm using Spacey and from the Spacey, I'm getting those top board list. And then I'm importing a string module. I think I have imported here somewhere. Let me see. If not, okay, I don't, we don't need to import. I think it is the standard library. Oh yeah, here we have put it string. So let me get some punctuations from the print. Yeah, from that string library, because we're going to use those two things while cleaning our uh, data set, right? To do pre-processing. Again, this is the function which came from our last video, which is nothing but uh, some kind of a token adder, which take our text, passes our text through the NLP, which is nothing but our Spacey model here that we have loaded. Spacey returns the, you know, those list of tokens. We can iterate through that, you know, tokens, and then we can take the lemma, make it lowercase and strip any white space, white space for each of those tokens. And then finally, this particular step removes if there are any stop words in our tokens or if that token is a punctuation mark. This is where what we are using. That's a simple thing it does, right? So if I call that spacey tokenizer on particular sentence, you will see it has deleted I and M and we got only happy. Maybe if I put happy as a capital H here, you see we got only lowercase because it's going to make it lowercase right and maybe let's see if i do eating let's make it again the capital e let's see right so you could see the first thing it removed this thing as a stop word second thing it converted eating into it into the it's a lemma the original form which is actually it and then it also made it lowercase that is why you are seeing this eat particular thing and since we saw how it work. We can apply that same function that spacey tokenizer what it did for our single sentence to the whole data frame column. So this is our column text column. We're going to apply this function so that the resulting tokens will be stored here. Okay, I think one thing that I'm missing to tell you once I get tokens actually, which is nothing but list of words, right? But then I'm again using this thing to join those particular things. So I'm not sure whether you know in Python for this thing. So for example, if I have this, uh, you know, let's say I have something like this word, let's say, and I'm just taking some random words actually. Let's say there are these two words called happy or apple or something like that. But if I have such a list, okay, then what I can do, I can convert this list of text, you know, I can convert this list of words into actually a string which is for that i use this thing okay and which is the separator how do i want to separate so i want to separate via those uh, and then there is a join method which simply you know going to take our list it is saying that i want to join element from this list using this separator which is the space and so it will convert this thing into this is actually a string and that separator you can decide you might want to join by dash and it will join it by dash right that's what it does so in our case we clean those words and then finally i convert those words again into the string format right because that's what our uh, sentence transformer is uh, expecting so let you know we can do this you know let's see how does the output look like okay so you might see this is the original sentence and this is what so you might see we again get sentence only but then this y has become or i think you are we have removed this word this is also stop word right this particular word has become lowercase right so we got in a sentence format itself but we have removed those stop words and punctuation mark like this everything is clean now now once we have data in a clean format let's do one thing Let's encode this text into the numerical representation. And that's what we're going to do. Again, just like 
we saw we can call the model dot encode on a text using pandas syntax what we're going to do since now our clean data is in the tokenized column we're going to call data uh, tokenized on this particular column we're going to apply model dot encode function so what will happen it will iterate through each of this row it will take this particular text and then apply model dot encode value and whatever the output of this will be some vector representation it will go to get stored into this embedding column so let me run this thing and we will view and see what we got from it okay now you could see that uh, we got the vector representation an embedding you can call it for the clean text data what we had and since now once we have this embedding this is nothing but you can call it as a feature vector this feature vector we can feed it to any machine learning algorithm right so well, this is one of the beauty of transformer things what we have right you do you might not use the transformer models for a let's say for your classification or any deep learning model for the classification but you can use them as an embedding to convert your text into the vector representation and then you can use any classical algorithm it could be your logistic regression random forest to do that classification right so that's what we're going to do here so let's uh, convert this into the training and test data what we have so we will take this data dot embedding column what we have here and i will convert it into the list so instead of this data frame it will become list of list and this is the or y column so if you want to see what is exactly so let's see what is the first element of that list of x you see this big vector right this big vector representation that is what we uh, have it here now once we have our, uh, you know x and y we can use the scikit-learn train test split make it like 20 percent test size and i'm going to convert it into the train test data okay now let's uh, i'm going to use some basic uh, algorithm so we're going to use the logistic regression you can use uh, you know any it could be random forest or any algorithm which is agnostic that is what i said right this feature vector you can feed it to any machine learning algorithm logistic execute or anything so let's fit uh, let's create our logistic regression object and then call a fit method on our training data which is x train and y train again same steps what we saw already and then let's you know uh, predict on our logistic regression on our test data and also calculate certain metric accuracy precision recall on our test and what is predicted okay so we see we got accuracy is you know almost 88 percent precision is around 87 percent and the recall is you know around 89 percent and uh, how much data i had thousand examples each uh, you know 500 comments for each class if you compare this thing with what we got using word vectors okay so accuracy remains almost same it is still an 88 percent precision which was 89 percent which dropped to 87 percent so we lost precision by two percent what about recall it was 86 percent we got 89 percent so we lost precision almost 2.5 but we gain recall by 3 percent now it depends on your use case you know you value recall more or you value precision more and you can always uh, you know manipulate even your hyper parameters to gain whatever the metric that you care about the idea was to show you you know how do we use both now we have used transformer which is the state of the art thing with our classical algorithm like a logistic regression algorithm because we treat transformer to calculate only the embeddings nothing but converting our text now these embeddings are very powerful you know you can simply compare you know you can take this embedding and find which is the closest embedding or you can take this embedding find dot product or a cosine similarity with the each row and whoever has the highest similarity their text will also have a similar meaning and that is what the you know semantic search or you can check the cosine similarity and if you really want to understand that particular thing i would urge you again go and watch this sentence transformer video which i talk about in more detail uh, what you are uh, looking for so i hope you found this video useful 
let me know in the comment if you have any doubt related to it or if you have any suggestions for the you know the next video that you want me to create 